Hi all. So today I welcome you on my coding channel, uh, codingmente.com. So today we'll be discussing with you that one of the most important library that is newspaper library. It, we can uh, categorize this as to pass the URL. Uh, it is just like a boilerplate. So before get started, we need to understand that how we can install this library. After that, we can uh, we will give you an overview that what are the main features of this library, how you can use this library by giving you a practical example so that you can understand how we can scrap a simple URL. Yeah, so let's get started. So the first thing is the installation uh, point. To install this library, we need to use the command pip install newspaper. To give you a demo for that, let me install this on my system. I had already activated a virtual environment. You can install in your system, but make sure that Python is installed in your system. If Python is not installed, then go check out the YouTube and find that how we can install the Python. Once the Python is installed on your system, you can proceed further. So for that, we can go with the command pip install newspaper. Okay. So this will install our newspaper library. Okay, the library has been installed because this is a, a version two. So we need to install version three. If you have Python version three, then you need to go with this library. Pip three install newspaper three K. If you are having version two, then you need to install pip install newspaper. Okay, the, once the library has been installed, now let's move forward further. The overview. It is an awesome library used to extract curated articles from different newspapers across the world. This library has been made particularly when we need to scrap the articles from different web newspaper websites uh, around the world. So we can say it is an uh, already built scraper. That means you don't need to manually build a scraper the, to extract the title, content, published date, authors, and other stuff like that. It is just like a boilerplate where we need to add the URL only and rest will be taken care by this newspaper library. So that's why if you are a beginner and you want to scrap some new, uh, new, new URL, news URL, then you can use this library. It is an awesome library. But if you are an advanced level uh, scraper or uh, developer, so the, there you can't use this library as it uh, this library has its own uh, pros and cons so before that we need to understand that what this library will it will return an object data type object and we need to see what uh, what it will return so first thing is the download this will uh, we use this function to download an article in a let's suppose we have an html page and first of first thing is that we need to download that article then we will be using the parse function here the parse function is like uh, we have the article downloaded now we need to parse as an html or uh, lxml so that we can uh, make this article mo in a more present, uh, readable format. Now, this uh, third is the authors. If you want to know that who had written this article, let me show you an example. That let's suppose I want the name of this author to be extracted. So we will use the authors there. Now the next is publish date. Publish date is like something that the article has been published. And then the text. Text would be just like it won't be the this part of the text. It would be the just the main content of the article. Whatever is there in the main part of the article, only that text would be included in that. Now the second, fourth, next is top image. Top image will be, uh, it could be, this one 
because already there are many images on this uh, article but the top image will be categorized as the first image that comes according to that and then we need to use the title title would be just like this title title of the article okay then the parse function i already discussed that before after downloading we need to use this function so that we can extract all these things authors published date uh, top image title these things from there and then we have keywords and summaries these both are the nltk part where we can use uh, by importing nltk we can uh, extract the keywords or the summary of that article so this is all about this newspaper library uh, i told you all about the download parse function and the other stuff so now let's get started and uh, scrap the live url so we have this this url and i want to scrap this url so for that we need to go here url has been added now the next thing is that we need to add this url we will be going with article that will be equal to article and we will pass the url here pass we will pass the url here then we will download this article article dot download then we will pass this url article dot pass after that we will start our work so let's suppose i want the title of this article to be printed so we'll give print article dot title so let's see what will be the result of this we will run this as a python terminal python file okay so india's stray dogs are being logged out by a us ban on adoptions are logged being logged out by a so the uh, title has been extracted now let's see that if we can extract the authors as well so we will go with this pre press enter print uh, article dot uh, authors okay the or uh, whatever the authors list would be there it would be in a list format so if you want the all list then you need to go with this but if you want only the first author then you need to go with uh, we need to save it somewhere let's suppose i'm saving it as author name that will be equal to article dot authors and now i will print the author name author name of zero so let's see what will happen it will print the first occurrence of the author name now next move to the second part let's suppose i want the html of this page print article dot html okay so now all the html of this article will be printed so you can see this is the html part of this article still working okay so let's suppose now i want the we have completed the author name title published date so now we will be using this print article dot dot publish 
date. So now let's see that if we can get our published date as well. Okay, so the title, title we had printed, the author name we had printed and the published date. Okay, one thing to note it down that here the published date is August 2, but it is updated. If you will go and inspect this URL, you will find that the published date would be the 01 or we can find it using August. Exactly, it's working. Okay, so this is updated, but the article has been published on 1st August. So that's why it is coming like that. Okay, the article published it. Text, okay, text, we forgot to mention text. Print article dot txt. Let's see, we can get this. Text, whatever the text of that article, you can see that there was another text that aunt arrested after niece and nephew's body found in her car. But this will not be added in the text because we are concentrated on only our the main text of our article so that's why it will be like this so we have used this so this is all about the newspaper library so you can use it according to your need that what you want you want some title author published date text or anything from that article so you can use one more thing before we uh, before we proceed further let's suppose uh, we need to find the keywords from that article. So for that, we need to install the NLTK. It is a natural language text processing, NLTK. So we need to install this NLTK before. Once this, uh, this library has been installed, we can use here. We need to import first, import NLTK. TK and then let's suppose I want the article keywords from that article. So, for that, how we can do? We can go with print article dot keywords this will give the all the main keywords that are being used in this article so let's see what would be the output of this okay so it is coming empty and go with summary if we go with summary Okay, so we have imported the NLTK, but we, f we forgot to call this function article dot NLP. We will be using NLP for that. Let's see now if we can get our required output. Run Python file in terminal. Okay, so the summary has been printed. Let's see. Let me print it for you. So the summary has been printed. 
this is the summary of this article some sometimes it is the requirement from the client side or you don't want the whole article to be printed in a text format but you want the just the basic summary of that article so we can extract that uh, summary using nltk and uh, after that nltk we can use the some uh, article dot summary uh, to extract the summary of that article let's suppose we want the keywords as well check it again print article dot uh, let's suppose i want the keywords sometimes if you want the meta keywords as well then also you can get but make sure that you are clear with your uh, understanding and what you need to extract from this so we are running it again so now let's see what is coming so these are the keywords related or used in this article adoption street india's logged dogs rabies animal problem india welfare these are the keywords sometimes we found we want the keywords to be only the keywords from that articles to be accepted so we use this keywords uh, using nltk so this is all about uh, a newspaper library i hope you might have understood that how we can use the library uh, in python so great day.